cab driver in San Diego's gas lamp district drove up on the sidewalk injuring almost 25 people who were walking along the sidewalk. This uh, example presents an interesting challenge that you should be aware of. Uh, according to the initial investigation by uh, the police officers in San Diego, the driver uh, was not under the influence of alcohol. The question becomes up then, what caused this driver to lose control and drive up onto the sidewalk? Uh, was it a medical emergency? Uh, did the driver uh, fall asleep? Or was there some other type of distraction that caused the driver to seriously injure 25 people? In Arizona, we have a legal doctrine known as sudden incapacity. Sudden incapacity means that if a, a uh, operator of a vehicle uh, becomes suddenly incapacitated, he may or may not be liable for uh, the injuries caused by this medical emergency. Let me give you an example. If a driver uh, loses control of his automobile because he suffers a diabetic attack, then potentially he may not be responsible. What we have to look at is what was the driver's history. Had the driver uh, been under the care of a doctor for the diabetic condition? If so, uh, was this something that was foreseeable? Another example may be uh, a driver has a heart attack. If there was no uh, prior warnings, then the driver probably will not be liable. Alternatively, or conversely, if the driver has a history of heart conditions and ignored doctors' recommendations to get treatment, uh, to undergo additional testing, and chose to drive despite the doctor's warnings, then potentially that driver will still be responsible if he has a heart attack uh, or other uh, cardiac episode causing him to pass out or lose control of his vehicle. These are very, very important questions that need to be addressed in the uh, situation with the San Diego cab driver that drove up onto the sidewalk in the gas lamp district, there's going to be a, obviously an extensive investigation to look at the driver's medical history. Uh, if the driver merely fell asleep, then potentially uh, he is going to be responsible for that. More likely than not, uh, there may be issues regarding uh, his employer and how many hours he had been driving. Uh, these are uh, all questions that are going to have to be addressed through the investigation. If it turns out that uh, the cab driver had some type of medical emergency, then there's going to be a, an extensive investigation looking into the driver's medical history uh, in terms of what was his fitness uh, to drive, uh, had he been ignoring any medical advice, what type of treatment did he have, all of this can be very relevant as far as the investigation goes as to the cause as to why he drove up onto the sidewalk injuring uh, all of those innocent pedestrians. If you have a situation such as this, you're going to want to hire an attorney who is experienced in sudden incapacities and has the ability and the experience, the knowledge to uh, challenge this because particularly with cab drivers, uh, aside from their medical condition, another big challenge, uh, they're going to, uh, the cab company is going to argue that uh, the driver was an independent contractor and uh, these uh, arguments have gone down, have been lost uh, time and time again by the cab companies attempt to use this as a uh, shield for liability.